Okay, hello there, I'm Dennis, and I'm on OpenBSD 7.0. Now, I have not upgraded. There is a new version, or a new upgrade, and it's 7.1. I'm on real hardware. I have not done that, and I'm, a, I'm about to show you the reason why I waited to run this. All right, let me see. Nope. Yep. All right, so this was in the virtual box where... I, uh, I did the last video where you upgrade from, I upgraded from 6.9 to 7.0. Then, when I would bring up my terminal and run syspatch, I was getting this error. Four oh four. Right, let me pause this. And you can see the error right here. Uh, at the end, it says 404 not found. Let me close this out because I don't need it again. And I did that until did I closed out my notes. <laughs> I think I closed out my notes. So I, I ran that until that uh, I, I got the error twice over the, about three days. And then... I got, I'd run a sys, a, sys, a sys patch again, and it worked. One thing I I can't find much information on, if any at all, let me close this out here. You know you got 7.0 OpenBSD. Uh, let's see, is it this? Nope, it's this. When you boot into your ISO, an OpenBSD ISO, say for instance, you, you had the old ISO still in ha on hand, when you first boot into it, this will be the screen that you're presented with. And the second option right there is upgrade. Now, that indicates to me that I could just boot into the ISO, press upgrade, or U, and upgrade in this method. But I can't find anything on that. <laughs> it says the preferred method is to run uh, sys upgrade in a terminal. Let me close this out. So I've got everything. Uh, on my system backed up and I highly recommend you back up your system before you do any uh, updates or upgrades. So once I start this process, let's see, I'm going to find it, just copy and paste it. Once I start this prog process, the system is going to re reboot. So once I press enter here, I'm going to shut everything down and then run the command and when it comes back up, hopefully I won't have any problems. Uh, what's going to happen, it's going to download the new sets. Let me go ahead and paste that in the terminal. It's always a little scary when you do an upgrade. Anyway, so the process here is I'm going to run do as sys upgrade. It's going to download a new, a new set list. And it's going to restart. And when it restarts, it's going to apply the new sets. But it's also going to try to run uh, sys merge. And if it's successful, you don't have to worry about it at all. Uh, but it'll tell you at the end what you need to do. If you need to run do as sys merge. I actually found a couple different upgrade methods. Uh, this is a, a handbook as well, OpenBSD handbook, and it says do the sys upgrade, but then do a sys patch after the reboot, and then do a package upgrade, uh, add, I'm sorry, with a capital U and a lowercase u, and there's the notes on what it says do. And then it says uh, finally runs sys merge with the D flag, which allows you to make all the decisions. It won't do anything on its own. Okay, so we got that in. I'm going to go ahead and press enter right here, and immediately I'm going to have to switch over and shut everything down, and I'll be back hopefully when this is over with. Okay, so audio should be playing, and I think you can see the screen right here. It says basically permission denied to run my webcam, and the reason is is I don't own it anymore. So let's find my town command. Forward audio, here we go, user. This is where I put in Dennis, I think. 
So we're going to change the owner of video zero. Let me clear that screen. Control V. Okay, so now I should be able to bring up my video camera again. And there we go. Let me move over to the next screen. So we don't have all the clutter of me recording. So right now I should have the webcam going, the video well, screen capture going, and the audio. And I had to reach out, re change the owner of my video camera. I kind of suspected I would have to do something there. All right, so let me bring up my notes here. Do it as fast as I can. I should have had it open already. New open BSD notes. There we go. All right. So after the sys upgrade, I did not. Oh, that's what, what I got to do here. We got to run. See, according to the the this site here, open BSD sys upgrade number eight. It says the next thing is do a sys merge. This one says the next thing we should do is sys patch. So let's run. Let's see, where's. Thought there was one that said package clean. Here it is. So we got to run do as sys merge. Do as sys merge. And it, it did do it during the boot up, and I have that on this other tape. Okay, so it's update, updating the, the uh, sets. It says, let's upgrade the sets. Locations of sets, CD0, HTTPS. It bypasses all that because it's already got the info it needs. Path name to the sets, continue without confirmation, correct. And now it's installing these sets. And I'm going to stop this, but I'll have another part here where it's hopefully where I can catch where it's running sys merge or attempting to. Actually, I'll just leave it running. That way I for sure will catch it. It's got four sets of three. That's 12 sets all together, I believe. Three, six, nine, twelve. Nope, eleven. All right, I think it's going to restart. Because it's relinking to create a unique kernel for this system. Which it does every single time you boot up. Great security feature. Congratulations, your OpenBSD upgrade has been successfully completed. All right, now it's going to reboot again. And here we should see, this is where we should see where it's attempting to run the sysmerge. All right. I'm sure that's blurry. <laughs> it's going by too fast. I want to see this. Run, uh, oh, uh, there it is. Audio record, video record. Nice. Hopefully I won't have to redo those. Reordering the libraries. Starting early daemons. Running RC Sysmerge. Boy, that was fast. Let's see. It's still in frame, I think. I pointed out. Running firmware update. And we're back to our login screen. So I'm going to stop the video, and when I pick up, I should be back in OpenBSD. And so we're all good there. So the next thing to do, it says uh, to remove any old files, we could run package add sysclean. But I'm going to do a do as pk 
Actually, I'm going to run cis patch. Cis patch. Make sure we don't get any errors. And then we'll run this command here. Go ahead and get it ready. Okay, verifying. Nice, nice. And it's probably going to make me reboot. Or probably going to say to reboot to load the new kernel. Reboot to load the new kernel. Okay, so it really is advisable to reboot before I run this next command, pkg add update or up, update all the packages. So let me close out of this. We'll go back over here and, and I'm gonna reboot and I'll be back. Okay, we should be recording volume now. Let me go back over to my screen. Okay, so we've rebooted. Let me adjust my camera there. I got that out of whack somehow. Anyway, got it up, run system upgrade. Let me just make sure before we go any further. There it is. We run in OpenBSD 7.1. So we successfully upgraded and merged. Now the next thing we need to do, it says run the, basically uh, all the packages upgrade. And that'll take a little while, but I'm going to go ahead and get that started. There we go. Now, like I said, this, this is an OpenBSD handbook. Now, this is the way they, they decided to do it or advised you to do it. Here, with the package up, add, upgrade, here you could use a capital U, update dependencies if required before installing the new packages, which is actually a pretty good idea this may be outdated i'm not sure i just know it's there and i normally just wait when there's a major upgrade i normally wait at least a week now i'm i typically run arch linux so i mean i get upgrade upgrades or updates all the time continuously so that's just the way that system works and it works great well here we got a new release and I did it first in a virtual box uh, several times before I finally was successful. I kept getting that error 404. Let's see, I think. Actually, I think I've got. Here it is right here. The notes on it. Here, I would run sys, sys patch and it would run. It would error retrieving this mirror. The Shay256.sig. 404 not found and i did this uh i found this post i'm gonna open this up because it, i did find it almost right away uh firefox is probably not going to open because i'm running package update it might if it'll open first <laughs> So it's running through every package that's installed on this system and upgrading it. And then hopefully there won't be any problems. I don't think there will be. But Firefox is not obviously not going to open because I am doing the upgrade and that's either stopped it or slowing it down. But if, if you go to this right website right here, put it to the middle of the screen, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash the daemon, not the, but daemonforums.org slash show thread period php question mark t equals 12052. And this is a post from J, JG Gimme. And I've seen him all over the place in the OpenBSD forums, so apparently pretty trustworthy. But he posted this on April 23rd, 2022. There was an apparent problem with the packaging of the binary syspatch 404. <laughs> the patch does what it's supposed to. However, it creates a kernel named blah, blah, blah. This causes a problem for reverting the patch or installing new patches with syspatch, which only works on releases. So they were aware of it even on the 23rd. And that's the reason why I kept checking back in a virtual box to see to verify it was all working before i did it on my 
actual system here. And I did see some other problems, and they concerned audio. Apparently, I'm not having one. I'll find out soon. <laughs> Let's see. Will it show me? Let's see what the size. It ain't going to open that either. It's doing an upgrade. I'm basically shut down. I believe. Yeah, nothing's happening here. So I'm going to see if it'll let me or allow me to... will allow me to shut all this off to free up some resources and then I can show you some the things I was trying to. Pendency doesn't match. Okay. All right, I'm going to... I'll be back. Okay, so... Uh, everything, I, I had all these instructions, guidance in the terminal here and in the virtual box, I did all these things. But then I did the investigation into them and let me just put, I got the links here. Let me just pull the web up here. Oh, uh, the first thing, this one here, it, it was talking about you getting these errors and it's basically talking about, I keep doing that machine ID and right here this JG gimme I see his name everywhere here or in the forums posted an upgrade won't delete or revise any configuration or data files if you have made any manual configuration changes to this file you will need to review the application for any changes and manually update it as needed if you have not made any changes to this file, you may ignore this message. So all these, all these right here, I've never, I don't make any changes. I hadn't printed, I hadn't, uh, and most of this stuff you see here is concerning uh, HP uh, printing. Not all of it, but a lot of it. So, okay, I brought up another, go back to here, sorry. The next one is also by JJ Gimme. And here we was talking about we're getting this error in the terminal uh, talking about the package list. Again, it says if you have not made any manual changes, don't do it. Oh, uh, here's a good command. Let me see if I can just run that for you. And this is listing all the extra packages associated to find all the extra configuration files and their associated packages run this command. And as you can see, I do have some, but <laughs> let's see, XM catalog, the machine ID, I haven't changed that. Uh, ignore it. It said codex. I hadn't changed any of this stuff. So I'm saying they're saying, or at least the information I can find, it's saying basically ignore all of it. Uh, here it's asking specifically about updating the Etsy uh, machine ID. And here's another post. Uh, this was two years ago by JG Gimme. It says a package update, etc., removes all old packages and replaces it with the new. So you'll get these sorts of sorts of post delete cleanup messages that you can safely ignore. <laughs> So when I got these on in this on this machine here, the first thing I thought was, oh man, I'm gonna have to do all this stuff. But the deal is, <laughs> you, I, I have it now. I'm gonna keep that list, and if I run into a problem, I will most definitely re, re uh, visit that list. <laughs> so let's just verify that we did do an update. And we got 7.1. That's the U name hyphen A for all. We're running the 71 point generic kernel. There we go. That's so my system upgrade worked flawlessly. I really had no problems. I had an alarm when I got those uh, suggestions. But when I started researching it, I was like, Okay, I'm going to save the list. If something happens, I'll have the list and I can refer to that. 
But so far, I mean, today, I, nothing's happened. Nothing's crashed. Everything seems to be working. Audio, video. Uh, I, of course, now, I hadn't done anything. <laughs> I might, it might be that if I bring up Audacity or Caden Live, they might just crash on me. I don't know. Let's see. Let's try the system monitor. Well, that works. And we're running 2.5 gigs. Now, keep in mind, I've just been doing a lot of stuff, browsing, getting ready for this. I've mounted and unmounted a USB drive. Got three web pages open. <laughs> and there, there it is. I'm sure I could log out and log back in and that would go back down. But anyway, that's it. That's going to do it for this video. I sure appreciate you guys watching. Open BSD. It seems to work. If, if in my case I, I elected not to immediately jump into the upgrade and I did see some problems I experienced the problems I researched them and then I just waited until that problem disappeared and now I upgraded my system and I, I didn't lose anything I, I've still backed it up and I'm gonna keep it backed up and that way if something does happen I still got a backup you should always keep at least one backup they say you're not really safe unless you got three backups of the same file. So I don't know. I usually keep two or three. So actually, I keep more than that and don't even know what I got anymore, it seems like. <laughs> All right. Peace out, guys. Bye. I'll catch you on another video.